We are in beautiful Itan, Kenya, doing an easy run, running at 3.30 per day. Come enjoy this beautiful landscape, spend some time with us, learn about the Kenyan culture, and have a lot of fun while doing it. Also, we have people from all sides to come to train together in Kenya. There are a lot of people who are training and it's perfect. So welcome and enjoy. Subscribe wherever you see the kids, friends and friends. Thank you. All right, good morning. Uh, it is Monday and we're doing an easy run again. Uh, 16 kilometers easy, progressive like always, finishing with some hill strides and some exercises at the end, drills and strength exercises and some stretching. So busy morning and then we have afternoon easy run in the forest. So just a normal easy uh, getting ready for tomorrow far leg kind of day excited for what's next beautiful morning in Kenya again like always uh, waking up early is so nice because I when it's dark you can see the stars like I've never seen stars like this before so it's pretty cool and now this time it's 6 15 uh, you get to hear the birds I don't know something different that I don't get to do at home or see at home so it's very nice all right Ready for a good day of running. My friend, how are you? Always on time. Always on time. I like it. Net. Good morning, James. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Good, good. Yes. Yes, yes how are you? Yeah. Doing great. I'm good. Yes. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm good. Good to see you. That's Net. Good morning. Good morning, Sammy. Good morning, morning. How are you, brother? Fine. Welcome to another episode of Marathon Training with Luis Orta. Today is recovery day, which means we're doing an easy run in the morning and an easy run in the afternoon. For the morning run, we're doing 16 kilometers easy slash progressive slash fast at the end as always. In Kenya, we never waste a day. That means that even if we're doing a recovery run, we're gonna run fast at the end. This is not something I'm normally doing at home when I'm training, but when I'm in Kenya, we're always finish the runs faster than I thought. So now that I have experience, I'm always prepared to run fast at the end. Especially today, we ran a little bit faster than what I was expecting because we had two guys join us. I don't know who they are and I met them at the end of the run but then I never saw them again. They're just people that are running and they want to hang out with us and they want to be part of our group but they were pushing the pace. Some of our pacers, uh, my friends, the guys that trained with me were trying to tell them to not run too fast but that's just how it goes in Kenya. Somebody wants to run fast and then they push the pace and then we are all end up running faster than expected. We ended up running around 3.30 per K pace, which is not easy, not recovery, especially at altitude, especially on these dirt roads that are so difficult to run in. But it was a good day. I felt good, I felt strong. I felt like the day was not wasted and I felt that my body started recovering and getting ready for the fart leg on the next day.
another easy day in Kenya. It's supposed to be easy. Running 3.30s with these guys. <laughs> but it's good. I'm here to learn from them and do what they do. And if they want to run 3.30 on an easy recovery day, then let's do it. I'm down for it and I'll give them company. So definitely a hard day. One hour, 10 miles in exactly one hour. Um, on the rolling hills, I think. So very good day. Happy to be here. Happy to start a new week with these guys. On this run, we finished with some hill strides. Um, the first couple strides were more of flat strides and then we went up. Uh, like in all the runs that we do in Kenya, we want to finish strong, we want to finish doing something fast, we want to finish feeling like we did something for the day and we accomplished something important in the day. So pretty good, good day overall. Happy to be in Kenya, happy to be working hard with these guys and excited for the next day which is going to be a fun fartlek. Faster. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> A lot of speed. Yeah. Good to finish Monday fast. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> but it's good. Good job. Good job. Good job. You know. Good okay, workout. Yeah, you finish, but you know it's faster. Uh, but we enjoy the day because it's Monday. You know, Monday is faster. But it's good. Yeah, we enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, it has been kind of fantastic this morning because of training. You see, it's not it's easy, but not easy at, uh, at all time. But sometimes we sprint, not easy, they add. But we enjoy it. But the crew is the best one. If you want to train best, also do the good in the group. That's well, and we enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> so it's good, a little bit faster Monday, but you thank the group. We did our best. We did our strides a little bit faster for tomorrow's preparation for track. Thank you. In the afternoon, we do the forest run. The forest is this beautiful place that all Kenyans go to just run very easy and recover. When I say very easy in the afternoon, they take it actually very easy and very seriously. So that means in kilometers, um, they don't go under five minute pace. 5.30, sometimes six minutes per K, which for a Kenyan is very slow considering that their race pace is under three minutes. So they take it very easy, they just zigzag around the trees, they have fun with it. Usually about 10 kilometers or one hour around that and then that's it, that's it for the day.
Thank you so much for watching another episode of Marathon Training with Luis Orta. Please remember to subscribe, like, share and comment. We really appreciate it. It helps us a lot and we'll be bringing a lot more content and pretty cool content in the near future. And then drop it to the side. We go to the left side, do the same thing. Oh, that's it for today. Thank you everybody for being here today. Yes. Tomorrow we go hard or, or we die trying. Or you go home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>